close your eyes and focus on your breath. Try to breathe in a way that feels good, all the way in, all the way out. And then again, and again, and again, each time you breathe in, each time you breathe out. As you stay here, the sense of pleasure of the breath gets stronger. And you realize that you're finding happiness in a way that's totally harmless. Here it is, the breath element in your body. It's something you breathe in, breathe out every day, and it's enough to keep you alive. But if you pay it some attention, you'll find that it can provide you with a sense of well-being that doesn't cost anything at all. It doesn't require that you take anything away from off from, anyone else, from anyone else. It's in this way that you find a happiness that's safe. Because there's so many ways of looking for happiness outside in terms of material gain or status or praise from other people or sensual pleasures. They create divisions. When there are divisions, some people, some people gain these things and other people have to lose them. And when there are divisions like that, then there's going to be strife. The people who lose out are not happy. So you have to ask yourself, the ways you're looking for happiness, are they safe? If you look for happiness inside, basically inside your territory, inside your body, inside your own mind, then you're not creating any divisions. It's a lot easier to live with one another when we look for happiness in, this, in these ways. Of course, when meditation is not the only way you can do that. You can do it by being generous. You can be able to do it by being virtuous. In the canon, they highlight the, the quality of being virtuous as being a genuine protection. There's a story of a king who came to see the Buddha one time. And you get the sense that this king, before he met the Buddha, was not all that spiritually advanced. As he said, he was interested in all the things that a person mad for power would be interested in. But as he began to spend time with the Buddha, he began to start thinking. One day he came to the Buddha and said, you know those people who, even if they have an army and a navy and also sort of protections on, on the outside, if they don't protect themselves through their own actions, in other words, make sure that they don't harm other people in the way they act, the way they speak, the way they think, they're leaving themselves unprotected. They open to all kinds of dangers that no army can protect them from. That's quite a realization to come to a king. But it's true. You know, with the principle of karma, basically what goes around comes around. If you don't kill, you don't get killed. If you don't steal, you don't get stolen from. You don't have illicit sex. Nobody comes and has sex with the people that you take as yours. Particularly with speech. The Buddha said there are four kinds of speech that are harmful. Telling lies speaking in ways that are divisive, in other words, dividing people against each other, speaking in ways that are harsh, meant only to hurt, to hurt other people's feelings, or speaking in idle chatter, or just opening your mouth and not knowing what's going to come out. If you engage in these kinds of wrong speech, lying, you, divisive speech, harsh speech, idle chatter, you're leaving yourself unprotected, because you say things are going to come back to you in a, in a way that's really going to hurt. And then as for your thinking, even just thinking, wanting to get something in an unfair way, what the Buddha calls inordinate greed, ill will, and then believing that your actions don't have any consequences, you can do as you like and don't have to worry about what's going to happen down the line. Thinking in those ways is going to give a lot of problems too, leave you unprotected. So for your protection, make sure that what you do and say and think is harmless. That way you can live in this world and you've got the protection of your own karma. Other people may be killing and stealing, and as long as you don't tell them to do that and you don't condone their doing it, that karma is not going to reach you. So think about how to keep yourself well protected in this world that has so many dangers, not only outside, but especially inside. Because it's so easy to give in to your greed, aversion, and delusion. You start doing things that you think are in your own best interest, but they turn out to be only in the short term and cause a lot of long-term suffering. When you're thinking these terms, then you leave yourself protected. And you can go anywhere and you can go with a sense of confidence that no matter what all other people may be doing, you're safe. And you're giving safety to others at the same time. Which means no one is going to be jealous of your happiness, no one's going to be jealous of the good you've done. Because everybody benefits.